Hi guys, welcome to this week's episode of Miss Planet. We are so glad you could join us. We have requests from a community member and her name is Alicia and she writes, Hi Miss Planet. Hi Alicia. My fiance and I are in love with your work. We stay glued to your channel. That is so sweet. We are planning our Caribbean wedding soon. Our color schemes, navy blue, burgundy, gold, and white. Can you please create a centerpiece for us? We would appreciate it. Alicia, I'm so happy to say we're going to create the centerpiece and I believe it's like four simple steps. It's so easy. You're gonna love it and it's gonna be such a dramatic part of your wedding. I cannot wait to show you. So without further ado, let's get started with this week's project, Floating Flower Wedding Centerpiece. Okay guys, let's get to it. So before we get started, I want to tell you that you typically can find the 4 inch, 7 inch, and 9 inch bases at the Dollar Tree. So be sure for those of you who are in the States, be sure to check out your Dollar Trees for those three bases. But don't worry, I have links for all of them in the description right below this video. Alright, so our first step is I'm using pearls because I kind of want to bring in the white that Alicia was talking about for her centerpieces. So these bases are going to simply have pearls, water, and a floating candle. Now to create our floating flower bases. For this, I'm going to use what a seven, I believe it's a nine, and the 12 inch bases. And I'm going to use latex flowers. It's very important that you use latex. When you use the fabric flowers, they will fade and turn your water whatever color the flower is. So don't worry, I have links for the latex orchids that we're using for this in the description below. Now, you will notice that some of your, your flowers will come, they'll be limp and you don't want that. You want them to kind of stand up. So I'm just clipping off the bottom stem and I'm attaching it to the top of the stem with high heat hot glue. Be sure to allow the hot glue at least 30 to 45 minutes to completely adhere before you start manipulating the flowers for your base. And for that, we're gonna create a hook at the end. Super, super simple. You just go ahead and bend it, making kind of like a U, and then you're gonna flatten out that U to make a stand. So simple. And that way, it will stand up in your base nice and straight. All right, let's put it all together. You see I've already done two off to the side. We're gonna take our orchid stem, sit it right in our vase. You can um, spread out your leaves and your flowers to make sure that they are you know, nice and full and you can see the whole blossom. And then it's simply time to pour the water in and you wanna leave yourself about a quarter, a half inch to three quarters of an inch at the top to sit your candle on so your water does not pour out of the top. Well, Alicia, what do you think? I love it. And I think I counted four steps, or was it five steps? Very few steps. And look what you get as a result. This is such a simple centerpiece, but it packs such a big punch. Well, if you like this video, by all means like us, subscribe so you can know when our videos are posted. And in addition to that, if you would like to leave a comment or ask a question, please, by all means do. We love your comments. It just pushes us on to do better and better. And we are here to answer your questions. I answer all the questions myself. It does take me a minute to get to all of our questions, but I do get there. And if I don't, guess what? One of our fabulous community members will be there to help you. I promise. In addition to that, you can follow us on our social media, and that would be Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Pinterest. If you haven't checked out our Pinterest page, 
I don't know what you're waiting for. It is absolutely awesome. Not only our ideas, but just ideas we found that we think are just amazing. In addition to that, go ahead and sign up for your Rakuten account, formerly known as Ebates. It is absolutely free. The link is in the description. Simply sign up for your account when you're ready to shop, sign on, find your vendors, make your qualified purchases, and receive a check at the end of the month for your shopping efforts. It's just that simple. Well guys, our time has come to an end. I wanna thank you so much for choosing this planet to spend it with. We do not take that lightly at all. Remember, if you would like to submit a project request, head on over to our website, missplanet.com, and you can click on that project request tab and follow the very simple steps. Not only that, we have fantastic cost saving tips. We have wonderful picture and written instructions for many of our projects and just so many more things on our website. So if you haven't checked us out before, click on that little dot right there in the corner and it will take you right to our website, missplanet.com. I want to thank you all for just spending this time with us and I want you to always remember when every penny counts, you can count on this planet. Please take care of yourself. We'll see you soon. God bless.